Today we have here to celebrate the recent elections coming up and uh, Vermont products, the Barney Sanders edition of the macaroni and cheese. This one is called Barney's Farm and it's all about a presidential candidate who in this sense is a rabbit of approval that authorizes all of this great food for everyone to eat um, from each according to their ability to each according to their need. And it says on the back, meet Bernie. You can go to the campaign rallies that they have in different locations and ask questions about the economy and infrastructure and memes. And in order to open the Bernie's Farm edition of the Barney Sandler's Macaroni and Cheese, you can see where the little dotted outline is. You just stick your finger right in there and you open it up. It should use your, your nail on the bottom since the dotted line is there. So make sure you dig your nail into the bottom dotted line. That's how you open the Bernie Sandler's edition. Uh, fill the barn 2016 hashtag barnstorm macaroni and cheese. Life is like a dank meme here in D.C. Got myself a rare pepe, the dankest may may. Might make a new meme, a repost an old meme. Dank memes, woo! -hoo. Every day I'm out here making dank memes, woo! -hoo. Always making good and Tell me why did you do this stolen? My Pepe's have been stolen. What to do? Stay calm and inhale dank memes. Woo! Every day I'm out here making dank memes. Woo! Always making good and never stank memes. Woo! Not spooky memes or spicy memes. No dank memes. Woo! Remove the federal prohibition on marijuana. Don't you open up that window. Don't you let out that antidote. This question of privacy in the digital age, how does it, how much does it concern you? Oh, that's a great question, Larry. And I believe that we have a fundamental right to privacy when it comes to what type of memes you may or may not enjoy. Uh, it's none of the NSA's business what type of memes you as a private citizen are into, be they nice memes, spicy memes, uh, dank memes, ironic memes, uh, underground memes, or uh, whatever your taste in memes may be. And uh, the average person who goes to the internet and makes a meme, I believe that they should know that the NSA is still in your OC and posting it to Tumblr. To Tumblr, Larry. How can you keep your rare Pepe's rare? when the NSA steals them and posts them to sites like that. It's a violation of your rights, and you should refuse to accept it. I refuse to accept that as our reality. And when I'm the president of America, the NSA is going to get memed on. Well said. I will be the greatest jobs president that God ever created. I tell you that. <laughs> Obama is going to be out playing golf. He might even be on one of my courses. I would invite him. I actually would say. I have the best courses in the world, so I'd say, you know what, if he wants to see, I have one right next to the White House, right on the Potomac. If he'd like to play, that's fine. In fact, I'd love him to leave early and play. That would be a very good thing. Hey, I'm not saying they're stupid. I like China. I just sold an apartment for $15 million to somebody from China. Am I supposed to dislike him? Our president doesn't have a clue. He's a bad negotiator. He's the one that did Bergdahl. We get a no good trader, and they get the five people that they've wanted for years, and those people are now back on the battlefield trying to kill us. But I speak to border guards, and they tell us what we're getting. And it only makes common sense. It only makes common sense. They're sending us not the right people. It's coming from more than Mexico. It's coming from all over South and Latin America, and it's coming probably, probably from the Middle East. But we don't know, because we have no protection. Islamic terrorism is eating up large portions of the Middle East. They become rich. 
I'm in competition with them. They just built a hotel in Syria. Can you believe this? They built a hotel. We have losers. We have losers. We have people that don't have it. We have people that are morally corrupt. We have people that are selling this country down the drain. I'm really rich. I'll show you that in a second. I have a total net worth, and now with the increase, it'll be well over $10 billion. But here, a total net worth of $8 billion. Net worth, not assets, not liability. A net worth. I'm not doing that to brag, because you know what? I don't have to brag. I don't have to, believe it or not. I think I am a nice person. People that know me like me. This photograph of a painting in Ben Carson's Maryland home depicts Jesus standing over him. I would go after people with rocks and bricks and baseball bats and hammers. I would hit people with hammers and bats the rocks. I picked up a large rock, hurled it at his face. I threw a rock and broke someone's glasses. Anybody remember throwing rocks at cars when they were young? I almost put a guy's eye out one time. It was so much fun. I would have flashes of temper. I had a horrible temper. You get angry, you kick down the wall. Struck him in the forehead with my fist. Punch in the window. Punch somebody in the face. Trying to hit my mother in the head yeah. with a hammer. Tried to even hit my own mother in the head with a hammer. Attempted stabbing incident. Tried to stab someone. I had a large camping knife. I tried to stab him in the abdomen. Stab him in the abdomen. Knife blade struck with such force. The person that I tried to stab, he fled in terror. So what you're saying is that you almost killed someone when you were 14? That's correct. I was trying to kill somebody. I was trying to kill somebody. I was really surprised when I read he tried to stab someone. Like, what? Classmates and neighbors who grew up in Carson told CNN they have no memory of the anger or the violence. Let me ask you flat out whether you stand by the claim that you attempted to stab another boy and attacked your mother with a hammer. Those claims are absolutely true. Quiet on the set. Okay. Bush knock down Twin Towers. Bush knock down Twin Towers. Bush 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 knock down Twin Towers. Wake up sheeple. Wake up sheeple. Wake up sheeple. Wake up sheeple. Osama bin Laden had nothing to do with 9/11. Sandy Hook was a false flag. 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 Jet fuel, can no steel. Team jet fuel, can no steel. Team jet fuel, can no steel. Team Bush shot down twin towers. Jet fuel, can no steel. Team jet fuel, can no steel. Team jet fuel. Can no steel. Team dice, team dice, team. Twin Towers. Sandy Hook was a false flag. 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 We've seen just a skyrocketing autism rate. It's connected to vaccines. It's connected to vaccines, 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 vaccines. Jet fuel, can no steel. Beam jet fuel, can no steel. Beam jet fuel, can no steel. Beam bush knocked down. Twin Towers. Jet fuel, can no steel. Beam jet fuel, can no steel. Beam jet fuel, can no steel. Beam, beam, beam. What up, America? Salty here. This one's for you. Thanks to Wale for the beat. Got me feeling like I'm Bernie Sanders. I don't gotta be here. I know, Wale. That's why I said thanks. Look. No me gusta Hillary. No calls with how she's qualified, but she won't ride like me. We deserve a nominee whose crew ain't corrupt as could be. The way I'm thinking, man, I'd rather have Bill in his three. Then he'll enter 150 million Taking over 8 years means that you owe someone And giant companies want they return on bonds Big headed Hillary ducking questions like buried bonds Profit of the party? Let's help him plan it 99% it seems as if our power's vanished So light one up, light one up, burn one down Bernie Sanders 2016 times This about a real democracy this about wars that's overseas This is this about Medicare for me Man, I'm talking about Bernie If we can't really choose, then we are not free Yo, and global warming ain't conspiracy So dudes with little cocks and big money 
I'll be voting for Bernie. I don't fuck with inevitability. Ain't that she's the worst? Is that this course defines democracy? I'm looking likely to be Hill Dog O'Malley and V. Celebrating, though my hair ain't been combed in some weeks. Bernie's speeches fill bleaches with them students and teachers. Union chicas and them dudes that don't fuck with polices. They sparking up the green, mellow yellow, beat the thesis. Hill dog move for dudes in massive mansions, Monticello. See, it's Uncle Bernie, but competition's lifeless. I'm on a mission and ain't thrilled about who will be wiping. Yeah, we in it in Iowa, where farmers talk Monsanto, forced to grow proprietary products for another Mando. Then we'll rock to the granite, where the hemp is tremendous. Snow bunnies hella scared, I'll be warming the planet. Super Tuesday turning point, point, that's a fact. Hill is over. Bernie reppin' middle class. This about class. a real democracy. This about wars that's overseas. This is this about Medicare for me. Man, I'm talking about Bernie. This about the right to steam your trees. Certain choices in for GOP. Plus global warming still a conspiracy. No one told me for Bernie. Socialist. That shit inspire panic. But Google it, it's use and proof collective social standing. The means of production work come with the caution. What? Is that they'll own you if they never force to split the profits? Old man, old man, white hair. If you're looking for the truth, then you might stare. And if you actually knew the truths, then you'd like care. About shipping students overseas and you'll know where. They on a map, Bernie be calling them back, star 67, if you hear this Hillary, it's too late. Shout out Drake, I'm fed to move to Canada, if the general comes around and Hill can't even hold a candle to. Jeb Bush, Trump, fucking Scott Walker, if Cruz elected guarantee I'm moving to Vancouver. We hoping not to lose, why we trusted Obama. Bernie burning bushes, Jeb, I don't fuck with your father. Cause it's about tomorrow, not another dynasty Coronations for that came the reason why we dumped that tea But we be out of practice, if we passing down power Politicians, prostitutes, pay and they playing Fowler They stripping voting rights, this political violence No, if we all get counted proper, we taking your title So senators can't silence, when we stand in line Plus I don't trust a court that castrated Section 5 so feel the burn, wait to put your hands down So the resurgence of the Bernie, time to turn out And yo, this has been Salty Man, Salt by Salt West Sing with me one time This is about a real democracy This about wars that's overseas This is this about a candidate for me Man, I'm talking about Bernie And yo, Hillary, you wanna bury this? Yo, Hillary, you really want to bury this. You know that 150 million you got over the last eight years? Yeah, let me get 1% of that. Thanks. Uh, Salty, Austin, Texas. Hey, yo, matter of fact, from now on, call me Bernie Man. Hello, this is Jeff Goldblum. Hey, thank you so much, Dr. Sam. For us when we just gotta forget Dr. Sand can, Dr. Sand can Who can make sure that Tom Cruise Jr. will live? Dr. Sand can, Dr. Sand can And who can be there when we don't see eye to eye? Dr. Sand can, Dr. Sand can And who can bring it when Obamacare can't provide? Dr. Sand can, Dr. Sand can Thank you so much, Dr. San. Thank you, Dr. San. Muchas gracias, Dr. San. Who can stand up to big pharma and vaccine? Dr. San can, Dr. San can. Who can chill us out when turkey is being so mean? Dr. San can, Dr. San can. And who can fix you when you're feeling just
there should be more than two presidential candidates in the debate? Would you be willing to debate a libertarian? Considering the economic crisis going on in Greece, do you think the central economic plan is really that good idea in America? How do you feel about secession? Do you support my right to secede? Come here for a second. Do you think that forcing every American to your economic, to your economic policies is actually freedom, sir? Can you tell us how freedom can exist without private property? I don't know. Why don't we go down there? Yeah, oh, Bernie, what would you do about Edward Snowden if you were elected? You think he's a hero? Let's hold, let's, I think he is. What do you think, Bernie? Press credential, sir. Sure do. Let's see it. What do you think about Edward Snowden, Bernie? Why won't yeah. you talk to independent media? Because you're rude. <laughs> and you're shouting out things, and I really don't like that. Now you can put that on YouTube. Okay. I go Care to go on the record about Edward Snowden, Bernie? Thanks, Bernie. Hey, an alien. Yes, I have travelled across space to check on the progress of your species. Cool. Shall I take you to our leader? Your what? Our leader, the guy in charge. The guy in charge of what? Well, in charge of everything. You have one guy in charge of everything? No, no, he's in charge of government. What is government? Well, government makes the rules for us. It tells us what we can do and what we can't do. So is government really smart? They come up with wise rules for you to follow? Well, mostly. But some of its rules are really stupid. Do you disregard those rules? No, we have to follow the rules, even if they are stupid or we disagree with them. Government punishes anyone who disobeys the rules. So you are slaves to government? No, 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 it's not like that at all. Government works for us, the people. It serves us. We're the boss. It tells you what to do, and it punishes you with violence if you disobey it, 
And yet you're its boss? Yeah. But there are some things government does that you don't like. Well, yeah, not everything government does is popular. Like spending on wars, for example. What is a war? It's when government basically spends the people's money on weapons and soldiers and then sends them over to the other side of the world to kill a bunch of people over there and destroy their country. I don't like it that government does this. Well, I can see why you might not like that. Have you humans reached the stage where you generally consider stealing, enslaving and killing each other to be bad things? Oh yeah, we know that. Don't steal, don't attack, don't assault. But you give money to government and they use it to kill people. Well, yeah. But government does good things with tax money as well. Why don't you stop paying for the things you don't like and only pay for the good things it does? No, we can't do that. You can't just decide to stop paying taxes because the rules say that everyone has to pay taxes. But the rules come from government though, don't they? Yeah. So government made a rule which says that everyone has to pay them money. So everyone pays taxes because if they didn't, government would punish them using violence? Well, yes, but most people don't mind paying taxes. Most people feel obligated to pay taxes and obey government laws because it's for the good of society. Society needs government and that means we all have to pay taxes. So just to make sure I've got this straight, government makes the rules and you feel obligated to follow the rules, even the ones you don't like, and it tells you what to do and threatens to punish you if you don't do what it says, and it uses some of the money that it's taken from you using threats of violence to pay for things you don't like and actually think are immoral, like mass murder. Yeah, but we can ask it to please tell us to do smart things, and please don't take our money and use it to kill people. We're allowed to ask them to tell us to do what we want them to tell us to do. Are you guys just scared of this thing? Is government some huge monster that can just squish you at any moment if you disobey? No, government isn't a monster. Well, what is it then? Could you draw me a picture of it? Government isn't really the sort of thing you can draw a picture of. Maybe you could take me to it. Where is government? You mean the building? Government is a building. No, but the politicians who make up the government have buildings they work from. So government is a group of these politicians? Yeah. OK, so what species are these politicians? Well, they're... human. Like you? Yeah. So politicians are humans and they're government. You're a human, but you're not government. No. So it's the politicians, they're the ones that boss the rest of you around and make you do things you don't want to do and take your money using threats of violence. But even though you're all humans, you're not allowed to boss them around and take their money? No, they'd put us in a cage if we did that. But look, it's not like the politicians can just do whatever they want. Like, a politician can't just come up to me on the street and make me give him money. They can't do that. Politicians can only do things like that in their job when they're working for government. Oh, so politicians aren't government, they just work for government? Yeah. OK, so government isn't a monster, and it isn't a building, and it's not politicians, it's something else. And it employs politicians, who are just regular humans, who get to order everyone else around and take their money. How does a regular human become a politician? Well, that's the great thing about our government. It's a democracy. 
And that means that the people actually have the power because we get to decide who among us get to be the politicians. We get to vote. And if a politician starts doing things we don't like, we can just replace him with someone else at the next election. So the people that get chosen to be politicians only get to boss people around and take their money for a short time, and then they go back to being regular humans? Exactly. That sounds like a powerful position to be in. But if you get to choose who does that, I assume that politicians are always the wisest, most honest, caring and respected people among you. Well, no, not really. I wouldn't say politicians are known for being honest, or wise, or caring. And they're certainly not the most respected people among us. Come to think of it, most politicians are lying, power-hungry crooks. The ones you chose? Yeah, they're always doing things we don't like. They use taxpayers' money to enrich themselves and their friends, and they never keep their promises to voters. They've been caught stealing and lying and taking bribes, and they mostly do what the big corporations want. Yeah, they're always doing stuff like that. They're completely corrupt. They're a bunch of lying crooks. But you said that most humans know that stealing and beating each other up and killing are wrong. And you said that you have the power because you can change who's in charge. So why don't you just replace the lying, thieving, murderous, crooked politicians with some regular people? Well, we don't try to elect lying crooks. It just always turns out that way. But we have to have a government because some humans are nasty and might kill or enslave or steal. Civilization just couldn't survive without government. Let me get this straight. Because you're worried about the small number of nasty people that are willing to kill, enslave and steal, you think it's necessary for your survival to have a system where some humans among you, for a short while, get to call themselves the government, and they get to order everyone else around like slaves, and, if they want, commit mass murder overseas, using money they stole using threats of violence. Politicians get to kill, enslave and steal, because if they didn't, someone else might? And you try to elect good, honest people to be politicians, but what happens every time is that the people you elect turn out to be corrupt, evil, lying crooks. That's your system. Yeah, that's pretty much government. Barack Obama is depicted in glorious full color on a genuine United States inaugural presidential dollar. Laird and pure 24 karat gold. Oh, wait, there's more! 24 Call karat now. gold. You'll also receive the president elect Barack Obama Kennedy half dollar. Laird and genuine 24 karat gold as a bonus just for shipping and handling. Each coin comes with a serial number certificate of authenticity, with earliest orders receiving the lowest numbers. The New England Mint is a private entity not affiliated with the U.S. Mint. This exclusive historic condition is only available for the next 75 days, and then we'll be retired forever. Hurry! Don't wait to secure your order for this special limited release. Get both of these brilliant, uncirculated Barack Obama 24-karat gold-layered coins.